welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing this look right here. Um, I actually wanted to recreate this look from um, an Instagram photo that I found on Tarte Cosmetics page. I'll link the Instagram page down in the description box. Also, I'll put a picture around here for you guys to see, um, for you guys to get a better look of what I was referencing to. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of like a really dark, heavy, smoky eye. Um, and by mean dark, I mean like using black, like right on the lid. Um, but it also balances out because, you know, we're using very warm brown, I want to say orangey type of shades. And it also had a little glitter, like right here, as you can see in the center of the lid. This look was really fun to do. Um, I hardly wear these type of looks where it's very dark and smoky. Um, especially with just using black on the lid, but I had a lot of fun recreating it. So if you like what you see, please keep on watching. So first we're going to start off with the lightest colors in the Morphe 350 matte palette. And then we'll be going with this color from the matte palette and using this inner crease. And one of the main tips for this type of look is to blend. Um, blending is important in order to let the colors seamlessly transition into each other. Then going into the shade next to the first one we used, um, we're going to be applying that on the lid and blending that outwards. Then going in with the really deep brown shade, we'll be applying that directly onto the lid. And I put this on to lay a base for the black shade that we'll be using next. And next, using any matte black color that you have, we'll be applying that directly onto the lid again. And we gotta be careful with this um, and not blend it out too far or else the orangey colors would disappear. So just make sure that you keep it right above the crease, but not too high. And for the glitter, we'll be using the Urban Decay Moon Dust in Space Cowboy. And we're going to lightly dust this on, not too much, because you still want the black color to shine through. And moving on to concealer, we'll be using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer under our eyes and just blending that out. Then setting it with the NYX Finishing Powder, and I'll list all the products down below in the description box. And then we'll be blending the first shade that we used on our lid right onto the lower lash line and blending that out. Then using any black liner that you have, we'll be lining the waterline and blending that out also. And you guys know the drill. After curling our lashes, we'll be applying the Maybelline Mega Plush Mascara and the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And for the lashes, we'll be using these really dramatic lashes. Um, they're from Kiss, and I got them from Walmart. Then we'll be applying liquid liner to the upper lash line to give a little more emphasis on the black eyeshadow and the glitter. Then to highlight the inner corner, we'll be using the lightest color in the Morphe 350 Shimmer Palette and the eyes are finished. Then moving on to the lips, we'll be using the MAC lipstick in the color Hug Me. And then to make it lighter, I tried mixing in uh, Color Pops, Color, and Button, but I did not like how that turned out, so I ended up choosing a different color. So I ended up using MAC's Hug Me and this liquid lipstick from MUA. Um, I forgot the color, but again, I'll link all the products down below. So guys, this is the completed look. Um, I'll be posting more pictures on my Instagram page, Eyes on Jess. Um, so if you like to see more pictures, please go visit my page and give it a like. And also, if anyone wants to know how it looks like with glasses, well, here you go. So 
yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.